Wars. Everyone has heard of Star Wars or has at least seen something from Star Wars. Now if you guys don't know, I'm a fan of Star Wars. One of the few pieces of Star Wars media I and so many others have grown up with is Star Wars The Clone Wars. This 2008 animated show is honestly one of the best pieces of Star Wars media. Literally the only thing that can top it is the original trilogy, and depending on who you ask, The Mandalorian. This show is so good with fantastic animation, especially in the later seasons, fantastic action, and introduced some of the most beloved and most popular Star Wars characters, like Bo-Katan and Ahsoka Tano. But the character we're talking about today is Hondo Onaka, a space pirate. He first appeared in the Clone Wars show, being the leader of the Onaka gang, basically being Jack Sparrow of the Star Wars universe, having a very nice design to go along with it. Then became this. What happened? How did he get from this to that? I'm, 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 I'm so confused. Anyway, and now his most recent appearance is actually in a theme park in Galaxy's Edge. Located at both Disneyland and Disney World, I actually got to visit the one in Disney World and it was such a cool experience. I got myself a droid and a lightsaber as well. But probably one of the coolest experiences is riding the Millennium Falcon in Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, which is where Hondo actually appears and look at him, he looks so dang good. The ride is also fantastic, as well as the Rise of Resistance, but we're talking about the Smuggler's Run here because that's where Hondo actually is in. He looks so dang good here, holy crap. But then the pandemic happened and well, the parks closed down, and since Disney has a good relationship with Target, they released Target exclusive Galaxy's Edge merchandise with new plushes, books, toys, and re release of the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge exclusive Star Wars The Black Series figures, with one of those being Hondo Onaka. And finally, after months of searching, I have him, as well as his droid. So let's take a look at these figures and see if they're actually good. Taking a look at the packaging for both of these figures, they both use the older style of packaging, which is fine, but it's not as cool or unique as the newer style of packaging. The front of the box has the Star Wars The Black Series logo on the top, a window to see the figure, a little logo that says transported from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost. At the bottom we see a render of the character, the name of the character, a warning, and a 4 Plus and Hasbro logo. On the right side we have a Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost logo, the name of the character, and the Resistance logo at the bottom. On the back it has the Star Wars The Black Series logo, an image of the character, and a little bio of each character in multiple languages, with Hondo saying, At the infamous Black Spire Outpost on Batu, Hondo Onaka started Onaka Transport Solutions to run contraband. Did I say that right? I hope I did. Contraband. Okay, I did. I did. Okay. Throughout the galaxy. And R5P8 saying R5P8 is Hondo Onaka's most capable astromech and serves as an automated repair mechanic on Hondo's many starships. This sassy droid calls Hondo out on occasion, always keeping the pirate on his toes. And on the bottom, a whole bunch of legal stuff and a Disney and Hasbro logo. On the left side of the box, we have a bit of a window and the name of the character. On the top, absolutely nothing. And on the bottom, some legal stuff. So let's open these guys up and see if these figures are actually good. Taking a look at R5P8, the sculpt is extremely accurate, but I mean, how can you screw up a sculpt of an astromech droid? The paint detail is also extremely well done, which is something I was surprised by. The play feature here is that you can open up these little doors and take out this claw and this pointy thing. I'm not sure what this pointy thing is, but this is a little pretty cool play feature. It is a bit annoying to get out, but... Hmm. Fine. For articulation, the head can swivel side to side, which moves his leg up and down. The legs can move forward and back, and the feet can move forward and back as well. So overall, this is a pretty good figure, but it's not as good as Hondo. Moving on from R5P8, let's talk about Hondo Onaka. The sculpt is fantastic on this figure, and very accurate to his Galaxy's Edge appearance. His face sculpt looks fantastic, look at it! it the amount of detail they put on it is so good. They did a fantastic job with his face. <laughs> 
the way I say it, it just sounds really weird to me. I don't know why. The paint also looks very nice throughout this entire figure. His jacket is made out of this flexible material, which looks great. The accessory he comes with is this gun, which looks really good. The sculpt is really well done and surprisingly has some very nice paint detail. You could put his gun in his trigger hand or you could store it, which is nice. For articulation, his head and the base of the neck are on ball joints, which is something I like about the Black Series figures. But the ball joint at the base of the neck is extremely tight. I'm not sure if it's just mine, so please be careful. But his head can go forward this far and back about this far. It can swivel side to side. His arms can do a full 360 and his arm can go out about that far. His elbow has a singular joint, which is something I usually don't like, but it works so well with these Black Series figures. Left hand can swivel side to side and move side to side. His left hand can swivel and move forward and back. His chest is one ball joint and can go forward about that far and back about that far. There might be another ball joint at the chest, but I am not sure about that. His legs are on ball joints and can go forward that far and back about that far. His legs can swivel side to side, he has a double bend at the knee, and his foot can move forward, back, and side to side. Overall, the articulation is really good with him. Now for some size comparisons. <laughs> Overall, these figures are fantastic, fantastic sculpt, articulation, and paint detail. If you guys are a fan of the Clone Wars or Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run at Galaxy's Edge, then I highly recommend picking these figures up. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.